Morning, McCall. This is Damon Johnson, your host, and I have the great fortune of interviewing Butch Whiting, who is the founder and CEO of Cryptech. Butch, thank you very much for having me. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Tell me a little bit about your, your history and, and then the impact that that had to, to form Cryptech. Okay. So I grew up in Idaho, was raised in Idaho, um, graduated from Nampa High in 1992. Went to Gonzaga University, got my degree in mechanical bulldog. engineering. That's correct. All right. Yeah, bulldog. All right. Went to U.S. Army flight school, and then I flew Apache attack helicopters, um, and did you know multiple deployments to both Iraq and Afghanistan. Thank you for your service. I thank you. I enjoyed it actually immensely, but it just got to the point to where I was gone from my kids a lot, my family a lot. Right. I had a six-year-old. I was gone four out of her six years, and a three-year-old four out of her years, and I also got to miss a lot of hunting seasons okay. and a lot, a lot of mountain hunting. You what know? kind of hunting do you do? Well, you know, the mule deer, elk. Um, I hunt all over the world now, but growing up, it was primary mule deer and elk in Idaho. I don't want to interrupt you of your history, but can you come back on our show? Because we're going to do some series on hunting a little bit later, obviously. Sure. And would love to, to hear some of your, your tricks or stories, your hacks. right? <laughs> yeah, and absolutely. stories would be awesome. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, the idea of cryptic uh, actually started in Talafar, Iraq, in northern Iraq, which is a giant shithole near the Syrian border. And um, when we weren't fighting and flying uh, missions, we would sit around, myself and the other founder, um, Josh Claycorn, and daydream about being in the outdoor industry. Business planning. It was a business plan. And we had... Um, you know, we've, we flew all of our missions together. I think it was around 95% of our missions we flew together. He was my junior warrant officer, and I was his commanding officer. Um, and uh, it consumed us. I mean, when we weren't doing work, we were talking about hunting and talking about how cool it would be to be in the outdoor industry. So I wrote a, you know, about 25-page business model. Okay. And um, that business model and plan got picked up by Cabela's. And they became enamored with one sentence in that business plan, which was to spiral features and functions out of special operations into the civilian hunting market. And we basically launched at Cabela's with an exclusive, and that's when we started what I call our hobby phase. Okay. Um, I'd gotten out of the military, but I was living in Alaska at the time, and I had another company there. Claycorn was still on active duty. Um, and we just stayed in hobby phase for a long time. and. Had a lot of things occur that were really super positive. Uh, we developed camouflage for the U.S. military. Got a ton of lift out of that. Um, and it finally started to just get so much momentum that we decided we wanted to do this for full time and make it our focus. And so we relocated and organized uh, the company in Eagle, Idaho. That uh, vision that you had that Cabela's recognized, yeah. where you have technology, spiraling out of special ops. Can you give us, the viewer, an example of what, what you're talking about? And, and we'll pick up and follow you. Where yeah, we so originally some of the features we brought in were like waist adjustments in the pants, okay. knee, knee, built-in knee systems that were adjustable, ergonomics in the pocket placements, you know, these types of things. Um, the camouflage really came after, then the camo is what we're known for now. Mm -hmm. We're the only camouflage that's in the civilian hunting market that's been extensively tested by the Department of Defense and selectively used by special operations. But, you know, our slogan, Battlefield to Backcountry, is truly the essence of who we are as a brand. Um, and it's not just our combat experience and what we did. We're, we work very closely with both U.S. Army and Navy Special Warfare now to this day. Okay. And so we're still doing, probably even more so, uh, integration and then bringing those improvements and features into the market. Another one I can point out to you, you can cut to is our, our rugby shirts on our tactical line, which will become available this summer. Those programs are specifically developed for uh, US Army okay. Special Operations. So this is an example of what I'm talking about with uh, a shirt that we specifically designed for US Army Special Operations. It's a rugby shirt. It's got a core wicking uh, core. They, that's so when they wear, wear their body armor, with uh, more durable material on the arms and okay. venting. This is a hot weather uniform. It's obviously in a solid, but you put this in any color or in camo for hunting. Okay. Um, the pant that comes along Great with for this. Great backcountry elk hunting where you're early season, hiking five miles in. Yeah, early season September, September type hunting mm -hmm. or 
um, antelope hunting, you know, when it's hot. Okay. Um, so lots and lots of features, super feature rich. But the knee system that I talked about, you actually load pa uh, pad in the in here. Um, we have different pads that come come with this. There's a Vibram outer pad that we actually specifically worked with Vibram on this. Oh, okay. But you can put another insert in here and get more protection. And then it's completely adjustable on the back. Um, and then the other features are where the operators wanted to have their pockets and stuff. And what you find is when you're in a hunting environment, those same applications that you experience in combat become useful when you're actually hunting big game. Right. So that I idea of spiraling those features and functions uh, still exists to this day. They're stronger than uh, they've ever been. And it makes the authenticity and the credibility of the Cryptic brand really much different than some of the other options of our peer competitors in the hunting market. So um, last question for you, because I know you have a lot more business to do here right. at the show. Uh, where can our viewers, if they're interested in, in trying these on and, and holding them themselves, where do they go to find it? So locally in Idaho, uh, Sportsman's Warehouse is probably our, our biggest advocate. They'll find it at cabelas.com, but okay. not necessarily at the Cabela's in Boise. All right. uh, DMB Supply also carries oh, Cryptic. All right. um, in terms of uh, uh, other stores up in the McCall area, I think pretty much you have to come to Boise sure. to see it. We'll work on that. All right. All right. Butch, really appreciate you, hey, you thank taking you. the time. Uh, we look forward to you coming up. I, I understand you take the kids out boating on yeah. a very cold lake called yeah. Payette. And we'd love to, to see you, maybe have you on the show live. Okay. okay. That'd be great. Thanks, Butch. Have thank a great you. show. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye.